He's going to be safely reunited with his family. He served the United States with honor and distinction. Sergeant Bergdahl put on the uniform of the United States voluntarily and went to war for the United States voluntarily. Uh, that takes honor and it is a mark of distinction. Well, it wasn't just National Security Advisor Susan Rice, also outgoing Press Secretary Jay Carney saying that Bur Bo Bergdahl served with honor and distinction. Uh, this came on a day when the White House decided to clarify uh, Rice's comments, saying this, quote, she was referring to the fact that he was over there as a U.S. soldier, volunteered for service, and remember, he has just endured five years of brutal captivity. She wasn't necessarily trying to characterize the circumstances of his capture, which she said we'd have to learn more about. And let's not forget of the facts that we don't know yet. We haven't heard his side of the story yet. This also comes on a day when two senior defense officials, not soldiers in the field, two senior defense officials confirmed that Bergdahl walked off before in 2010, and there's an Army report about that. We're back with our panel in D.C. Uh, George, what about this? Well, Winston Churchill once said that U.S. Secretary of State John Foster Dulles was a bull who carried his china shop around with him, and Susan Rice is like that. Trouble seems to follow her around. Leave aside the statements of hers you just talked about. She has also said that uh, Bergdahl was captured on the battlefield. Now, no one seems to believe that except Susan Rice. What really is alarming and what we want to find out is did she, as National Security Advisor, allow the President to wrap his arms around this little episode as a mellow moment of national sentiment without telling him some of the many, to put it politely, ambiguities about uh, Sergeant Bergdahl's service in Afghanistan. Did she tell the President? Is she advising him? Because if she's not, if she's not giving him the facts, then we have a really serious problem 16 blocks from here. Chuck, Senator McCain said yesterday that Susan Rice should stay off Sunday shows. <laughs> well, uh, she didn't have uh, a good one this last week. And, uh, you know, the, the statement by Jay Carney about how he put the uniform on voluntarily, went to war voluntarily, is not going to work because what military people, and I've heard from them myself, are saying is the important point here is he took the uniform off voluntarily and went away from the war voluntarily. They have to find a way to address that problem in a way that's convincing to their critics. Instead, what I hear them doing is like digging the hole that they're already in even deeper. The signaling, the messaging, the symbolism that has accompanied this entire thing has been uh, clueless in depicting Bergdahl as some kind of hero. I wouldn't say for a minute that I think that's been a one-sided problem. I think there are a lot of people out there demonizing Bergdahl excessively, talking about how he's a traitor and a collaborator, and I think that's over the top, too. But unfortunately for the administration, they opened themselves up. They created the opportunity for their critics to play that game by attempting to create this sort of myth about him um, for their own advantage when they didn't obviously have, they obviously had not done their homework about his actual record. This should have been handled in a much more kind of mundane, business-like way, if at all, to say like, okay, we made our trade here. and. You know, this is kind of one of the things you have to do to wrap up the war in Afghanistan. But when they tried to convert it, as, as George said, into sort of this mellow, feel-good moment, they obviously went too far. Charles. But that's not a messaging problem. That's a conceptual problem. They have no idea what they actually did. Even those of us who might grudgingly accept the cost of that swap would understand that this is a defeat for the United States. This is a moment of solemn solemnity and sorrow that we had to make this a deal endangering our country as a result but in the name of saving someone but the president thought of it as a victory lap shows up in the rose garden he has his a uh, his acolyte speaking about this being a happy day harry reed it's a, a a day we ought to celebrate this is insane this is a defeat for the united states and if anything you regretfully announce it solemnly and you move on Panel, thank you. That's it for the panel.